Hey guys, World Leader here. Today I'm going to be doing another segment of Know Your Heroes. Today we're going to actually be interviewing Zilfer, an amazing streamer. You may have heard of him. I know I have. He's honestly pretty great, and we're going to see what he thinks about the game. We have some questions laid out here, and we're going to see what he has to say. So, um, how are you doing today, Zilfer? I am doing quite well. Uh, enjoying my Friday, and uh, I've been working on uh, different things in the game. So yeah, all in all, pretty well today. Nice, nice, nice. Honestly, same for me as well. My day's been going pretty swell. Couldn't ask for any better, especially now that we're here finally doing this interview. I'm sorry, guys. I know I've been trying to get these out to you, but I promise content is coming back, guys. Anyways, let's get on with the questions. So, what's your in-game name? My in-game name is Zilfer. Z-I-L-P-H-E-R is how you spell it in the game. Nice, nice. Honestly, that's a pretty cool name. Do you have any backstory on that name by any chance? Or is it just something yeah, you thought was cool? No, uh, Zilfer is actually uh, a word meaning the number four. My character is actually the number four. Uh, it's in German. That's awesome. I believe it's in German or Latin, one or the other. But yeah, it means the number four. I'm guessing the number four may is your favorite number? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Square, balanced. I like it. Honestly, that honestly, when I saw your name, I thought it was honestly pretty cool, pretty clean. Because not many people have that many like cool names out there. Like everyone just has like such. No offense, guys, but some of y'all have some pretty uh, standard names. Yeah, I mean, I don't <laughs> see a lot of a lot of characters with a, a Z as the first letter of their name. That's kind of why I went that direction. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty clean, pretty pretty clean. So um, you don't have to tell me exactly where. You can just say um, a specific region or whatever. But uh, where are you from? Like, I mean, personally, I am from the States, the South. I don't mind saying I am from Texas. You're from Texas. I am from the great state of Indiana. I live Ooh. in the cornfields of Indiana is where Zilfer resides. Oh, I love corn. I'm not going to lie. I really love corn. Yeah, I'm corn. Yeah, we've been having corn on the cob here recently. Oh, so, yeah, so good. amazing. Oh man. Okay, so let's get into more Bit Heroes related questions. So, how did you find Bit Heroes? Like, how did you come across it for the first time ever? Um, I've been playing for five and a half years, and I actually was just in the Play Store, and I was like, uh, you know, they give you recommendations. I saw Bit Heroes, and I loved the way it looked because of the eight bit action. You know, the eight bit characters. I was like, man, that reminds me a lot of Mario Brothers because I'm an older person so i really like that and i clicked on it and um i just downloaded it installed it and started playing it went through the tutorial and i was hooked and i started Good. playing it now i didn't you know i didn't play real hard in the beginning but then you know you you get into it a little bit and then you're doing youtube searches and trying to learn more about the game and then you know it just the in-depth part of it i started you know really getting into it, it. pulls you in right Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's it's honestly super fun. Like I, on the way I came across it, I, I probably said it in one of the previous videos, but I was playing a game called Pixel Dungeon, and I was like, man, I know there's other variants of this game. Let me just look up Pixel Dungeon, right? So I looked up yeah. Pixel Dungeon, and there's Shattered Pixel Dungeon, and a bunch of other ones. Uh, some are some more on Android. There's less on on, on uh, iOS, but there's still some other ones, right? So I'm checking, and then I see. This game called Bit Heroes, and I just saw the art style, and that's all I saw was the art yeah. style. And I'm like, you know what? That looks pretty clean. I I really think I'm going to try this out. So I tried it out, and oh man, ever since I, I was just I just been hooked. Yeah, I like your name. Yeah, your character name is really unique and awesome too. Thank you. I mean, the Honestly, way you spell it and the name is World Eater. That is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I really like my name too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kind of really do, but. I got it from uh, one of my favorite bands back in the day called North Lane. Um, yeah. They have a song called World Eater. And yeah. I don't know. I just, I know they got their name from their favorite band. Right. And they, they had a song called North Lane. So they just put it together and they made North Lane. Oh. And I thought, oh, well, that's pretty cool. I'll take inspiration from one of my favorite artists. And then I just took one of their songs and I changed the way it was spelled and Change the yeah. spacing and everything. So cut it, that's how yeah, I got cut my it, name. Underscore it and then change your name. Well, yeah, that's cool. Made it a little personal, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, how did you become so fascinated with the game? Like, what what kept you playing the game? I like the strategy portion of the game early on. The fact that um, you get bottlenecked and that's difficult. Mm -hmm. So the goose and Brimby and some of the other uh, bottleneckers. 
Oh yeah. That cause you to have to go back to previous dungeons and previous uh, raids. So that was kind of I like that piece of the challenge. But then I also started watching some real early streamers, and I think one thing that kept me really in the game was uh, Chuck Chuck. And his his oh, live yes. streams and stuff. He was a real Chuck. fun guy, and because of that, I, I really got more invested in the game. So I I kind of attribute a little bit of deep investment to him, but also the fact that uh, I'm a critical thinker, and I enjoy um, that kind of stuff in the game is 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 the challenge. Mm -hmm. I I personally. Th think a lot of the same the beginning especially the beginning of the game is oh it's so amazing especially when you see the progression like just getting one familiar you can feel that huge power spike when you actually like yeah. you know start strategizing and like actually like going towards the direction you want to do like for me on my let's play for example i'm going bait so the moment i was able to fill that tank role uh yeah. with Hilarious, it just felt like okay i can do so much more now. get things done yeah. yeah for me it was yobo and uh when i probably made when i made my first boba dome and i made my first walk em. i felt that huge power spike with those walk em, legendaries walk em is like so good early game i love walk oh. the, the only reason There's i didn't run work, walk man, but... yeah i didn't run him on the let's play only because i've never ran omo and i really wanted to try him out and i like oh him sure so yeah but on my mains uh my other two accounts i i have walk em all the way <laughs> but yep. um what's it called i um for me personally, what what I'm so fascinated with is uh, the community. Um, I love the community. I don't know what it is. I feel like there's all kinds of people here, but all kinds of the good people. You know, there's very little bad mm -hmm. eggs, and usually if there is bad eggs, they don't last too long on here for some I think reason. It's where you hang out too. You know, it, yeah, it, it, it's where you hang out in the community. Also, yeah. just want to say real quick, quick plug: best place to hang out is Zilfer's Discord. <laughs> yep, Zilfer Bed Heroes on Discord. Little for Bit Heroes on Discord. And that is no cap. That's not a lie. All truth. That's my favorite and only spot I talk Bit Heroes content. More than my own Discord, honestly. I don't even use my Discord. I use Zilfers. But yep. anyways, let's keep it going. Um, how long have you been playing? And did you think you would be playing this long? Um, well, I've been playing five and a half years. And I took one uh, break of about nine months um, due to work. My job. And that was during COVID. Uh, there were some real intense things going on. I had to take a break. But if you told me I've been playing almost six years of this game, uh, I don't know that I would have. But I'm so invested in it now from a lot of different sides of the game um, that there's no way I'd quit playing now. I, I really do enjoy uh, everything like you, the community, the game itself, and then my long-term in-game goals are, mm -hmm. are keep, definitely keeping me moving in each tier. So, you know... Oh. That's another thing about this game. There's always goals that can be created. Like the moment new content comes out, you have like, all your goals just change. It, like the meta's always swapping around. It may not be like the craziest meta swap or meta shift, but there's always just something to farm. And that's what I like. Like there's just always something to farm. Unless you just overwhale out way too fast, then you're going to have a lot of content to farm. Like even me right now, like I have a bunch of stuff. Don't get me wrong. I still have so so much that i want to try farming like i'm i don't even think i'm close to getting uh where i want to get it all right now but um what i really think about the game right now is it's it's just so amazing but that's just drifting off to the next uh few questions just give me a second let me check it out real quick okay so i didn't think i was gonna be playing this long first of all i really didn't i thought i was gonna try it out i thought it was gonna suck and uh -huh. And then quit, but I played it and it was just, it was amazing. But um, speaking of goals, uh, a little bit earlier, what are your main goals in Bit Heroes? Um, I want to be uh, honestly in the top 10 of total stat points. Uh, I am a complete and utter total stat junkie. So I <laughs> never use my coins for anything other than stat points. Oh, I want to climb to the top. My other goal, of course, and I'm working on that now is to get to 1,000. Uh, I really want to stream and be there and be a person that other players can go, uh, hey, I checked that guy's stream out. And I'll, I don't want it to be intimidating, so I work hard um, to always encompass and you know, uh, show that I'm an accepting person. Um, but my ultimate in-game goal is to hit 1,000. 
So I'd like Zilfer to be, you know, one of That's those. It's a dream. Players. That's one of my dreams too. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know yeah, if I could reach it. I want to, yeah, but I don't know either, man. You know, it's hard. It's a lot I'm of XP. Trying. Hey, but if it makes you feel better, I don't just think you can do it. I know you can do it for sure. I could try. I'm trying, man. I mean, it's gonna take a while, and I like you. I'm, I'm not gonna quit playing. So yeah. sooner or later, you know, I'll be there. Same here. I feel like, I feel like, um. It's not that my main goals changed. I just have a bunch of main goals. Another main goal that I had that I probably haven't said in any of the other um, segments of this series is um, I really just want to reach out to as many people as possible mm. and get them pretty much like, I guess, an R level. I want, I want more people to get stronger and I want more people to stick around more. So well, I'm trying and, to release And you're learning to play Big Heroes content you do. Uh, I think that's going to help a lot of people, man, because. When I started playing, there was nobody really teaching the flags. They would show us content, do you understand? But mm -hmm. they wouldn't take the time to, to go through a whole tier the way that you're doing. And I'd, I'd always try to plug the fact that if you're new to the game and you don't understand something, you can go to World Eater on YouTube uh, and really learn basically tier, you know, tier flags 1 through 11. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. 12 is coming out soon. I'm actually editing it right now. Oh my it's God. Just, wow. It's just, it's halfway through editing. I just started today. Um, sorry to change the subject, but I just wanted to let you all know it is coming out guys. I'm sorry. Um, I just had a lot to no, do today, right. but I think by the morning, if not noon tomorrow, it should be uh, uploading. I already have the thumbnail made. I just mm. need to finish the editing, but um, yes, yeah, um, that's great, another man. thing. That's really a nice goal that you have. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I love this game. I love the community. And me and my partner and my girlfriend, my lovely girlfriend, uh, I was talking about it with her earlier. She was telling me that she doesn't, she asked me if I'll ever stop playing the game or she said that she doesn't think I'll stop playing the game. And she said right. that it's pretty much become like a part of me, you know, like, yes, it's pretty much like I play every single part day of me now. Uh, it's crazy. Yep. But I mean, it's just a, it's a game I love. I mean, People that love games, they always, they, everyone has something out there, whether it's a car or it's, or it's cooking. Everyone has something they really like. Like, like I love this game. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> it's maybe not my favorite thing, but it's one of my favorite things for sure that I sure. am honestly quite passionate about. For some reason, it just has me. And I really think it's the community. But um, yeah, my main goal is pretty much to get everyone knowledge on the game and to understand it more. Because I just think, uh, no offense to the game, I just don't think it really explains enough. Like, I think one thing they could incorporate in the tutorial is maybe um, reading what the, teaching you how to read what the the mobs do. And if they do teach you how to do it, they need to show you that a bunch of different mobs have different things. Yeah, and... yeah. People, people don't necessarily see that sometimes they attack the back. And then maybe you need to move yeah. your healer to the middle and put you in the back. And, and you know, that's why I continue to plug your content because they see, they get to see that, you know, yeah, the rotation people learn better when they see it done and mm -hmm. they can emulate what they're taught. And, you know, I'm constantly doing that myself in my own stream. I'm awesome. I'm glad you are because I even, even some veterans, believe it or not, I, I don't want to say the name, but I helped someone with the D4 recently and mm -hmm. they weren't swapping out they had two baits they had two raws and they yeah. weren't swapping out the one they had in front at all they just kept leaving the weak one in front and i'm just like smashed yeah i told him i'm like dude swap it out like swap if you your swap stuff, it out, yeah. yeah i mean you gotta you gotta be logistic <laughs> yeah logical so, on this game i think swaps or switching sorry whatever it is um is something that they don't teach and that's honestly a really big part believe it or not on passing flags mm -hmm. but um Anyways, I just drifted off so much, but All right. here it is. Here's another question real quick. What's your favorite set um, in the game? I guess um, since since you started playing, like, what's your favorite game, uh, favorite set in the game? It's since probably, release? honestly, the, I, I like to call it the Switchblade set, and everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. A lot of people hate it. Uh, Witchem. I Witch can do pretty much everything in Witchem. I use Witchem as Witchem bait, offensive bait. I can, I mean, I, I can blow people away in PvP in Witchem. Um, you know, I think a lot of people see that as a bait set only. But if you oh. encompass it with, 
you leave you leave the double bonuses of the evade and the enchants, mm -hmm. but then you go in and you put a Nox meta rune on for damage. You put on empower runes. You give yourself an offensive accessory and pet, and mm -hmm. now you have a set that gives you enough evade, especially if you have like some of the ancients like uh, Clover uh, or Excarium, and then you can you can basically push almost all the true in-game content in that set. So I know that I've got several different sets in my armory, but I'll be honest with you, if you watch a lot of my streams, I spend a whole lot of time, unless PvP, which I sometimes switch to my Triple X Sword set, I spend a whole lot of time in the game in my Witcham set. So I love Witcham. I personally think it's the best set in the game. Honestly, I've noticed. I remember... I think this was like probably right before you finished your all ancients build. Um, mm -hmm. You were mainly wearing DPS a lot, and then around somewhere around that time when you started uh, the Shadow Council, pretty much around that time, is when I noticed you were just heavy Witchum. I'm like, oh, this guy's digging Witchum right now. Yeah, yeah, and I'm still using it. I've it's used amazing. it the entire tier 18, pretty much. Same. I I didn't even believe it or not. I didn't even touch perk the moment tier 18 came out. Tried it once, didn't like the way it felt. I probably didn't try it enough. It's not bad at all. It's just well, which I'm just feels so solid. As a member of the round table, um, I was part of the crew of four guys that uh, did the pre testing for, um, and I can talk about this, uh, Notorious Beef. And what you learn real quick is um, composition of that world boss group matters. Mm -hmm. So. I had to up tier um, Percunus to tier 18. I'm currently running a 60% block build and 20,000 health, and I'm the tank. And <laughs> well, the only way that reason that works on Notorious Beef is because as long as I have three good DPS behind me, I can live. But mm. um, I did up tier my Percunus for only that purpose. Um, and people can use that per Percunus set for beef. Um, they just, you know, if their friends list me or they want to DM me or something, I can walk them through it. But boy, I tell you, um, Percunus isn't completely gone yet. Yeah, no, no. It's it's still pretty solid. It's super strong. It's just, I actually was thinking of actually up tearing it for beef itself because I don't necessarily have, like, a solo build. Can I solo a few runs? Yes. You know, who can't? A few runs. But you can't 100% right. like you can Nordic. Like Nordic, no, I have a like top, a 99 Yeah, I'm chance. a top 100 stat point and top 100 level player. Um, and I'm lucky if I'm 70% solo on normal mm -hmm. Notorious Beef. This game currently, we worked that, we, we tested that hard enough that we made it so that you cannot solo Beef, period. Just can't. Yeah, Beef is just a monster, man. Beef's a monster. I honestly, I'm really glad that they're kind of looking into all that and giving you guys a little more power, you know, a little more, mm -hmm. I guess, a little, not yeah, control, I was sad, but I couldn't share information with it from you know, anybody. And I knew like two and a half months in advance and, oh, I had to sit on everything. And I was just like, <laughs> these guys don't know what's coming. Oh, but yeah, I, I love the game and I'm always glad. And, and the nice thing about being a knight is that I can bring the community issues and I can fight for the players in the game mm -hmm. because I don't have an agenda. I just care about everyone in the community, man. That's what I'm all about. Like you, yes. I care about the community. I want the community to get bigger. And the only way to do that is to continue to fight for them. Honestly, thank you. Honestly, for real, you and everyone else on that table, you guys are amazing. You guys are honestly doing the best thing ever just by testing stuff out and making sure stuff's not too easy it keeps the game interesting it keeps people in world boss helping out each other it's nice you know it makes people come together and to me it just it's more interesting knowing that people that actually know about this game are testing the game it's it's just it feels a lot more comfortable knowing that like it just feels great but um yeah it's honestly I honestly wish I could somehow become a part of that, but recently I've just been like not distancing myself from the game, but stuff has been happening recently mm -hmm. in real life, so I haven't been able well, to. They said be a every part six months it. they're going to review everybody and uh, open up the chance for people to take spots and things. They're nice. always looking for more active people, which I mm -hmm. think is a good thing. If I'm Definitely. not active, I need to go. You know, that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. But um, 
yeah honestly i think it's pretty great that you're a part of that but let's keep it going Thanks. real quick um what's your opinion on the state of the game now i know you can't really say whatever well, you want, I mean, but you can I, say yeah, i mean i can't go into nda want, yeah. stuff but here's what i can tell you i think um this i think the state of the game right now is it's it's starting to drag on for people in the current tier and mm -hmm. unfortunately, because of all the changes that were made with Congregate, the NFT thing, which everybody knows about, uh, the adding of the round table folks of the champions and the knights, they, they had to push back the next tier, okay, mm -hmm. by two months. So I think it, there's a lot of people that are just doing regen and logging off, regen and logging off. Mm -hmm. um, but I still think there's a lot of new players coming in and a lot of fresh blood um, having fun with the game. So I think. Part of the crowd is resting. Mm -hmm. And I think you've got a lot of new players looking at your YouTube, Primal, I guess maybe my streams and stuff, that are trying to push their way as the content slowed down here and are trying to catch up. That's kind of how I see it. So I think it's a, right now it's a balanced situation, um, but I think I'd call it balanced but boring for the end gamers, you know? But, mm -hmm. but still exciting for new players. So it's just balanced right now. It's not one way or the other, and it's not super exciting. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like the good thing is I feel like a lot less people are quitting, and I feel like a lot more people are coming back. Mm -hmm. And that's what is exciting me is, yes, the end game's a little boring right now, but only because... Um, I mean, like they you said, the they back. had to push it back. Yeah, that's the yeah. only reason. Otherwise, people would have slowed it down. Um, they didn't know it was going to be pushed back. A lot of people pushed super early. Mm. And they were just Me expecting. Included. Yeah, little. they were just expecting all oh, the average amount of weight, whatever. But they didn't expect those two extra months. So right. that's why it's like that right now, guys. Just in case uh, y'all were curious about Endgame, don't worry about it. It's normally not like that. But if you just get a tier 18 right now, it's as if you just got there when it was released. So it's no problem. But yes, honestly, I do 100% agree with you. It's perfect. Exactly. Everything you said is exactly what I think. Now, what's something that you hope to see come to the game in the near future? Um, whether it's something um, that you've always wanted, something niche that you think would be cool, um, pretty much anything. What's something that you think would be a great addition to the game? Okay. I talk about this a lot on my own stream, and this is a very important thing to understand that I don't know if it'll ever be instituted, but it's something I'm pushing for currently. Mm -hmm. When you do World Boss, it gets hard to find help in the early part of the game. Because yes. guys like me at the end of the game don't do more than regen. So 10, maybe 15 World Boss runs. Okay. When you're done with World Boss like I am, I spend all my zeals going back to tier 10, tier 8, tier 12, whatever heroic I can to help people. But it costs me zeals. I'm pushing for an additional button next to private at the bottom of the world boss that you guys can see private. You can click at. And I want that little button to say next to it, no loot. What it means is I'm not going to get experience. I'm not going to get any loot. I'm not getting anything. I'm just not having to use a zeal because, guys, mm -hmm. zeals are lifeblood at the end game. Okay? Yes, I need for it for sure. the next tier. I want a no loot option, and I will sit there. I'm not kidding. On days off, maybe in my Discord talking to people, and I will spend three hours, up to three hours probably, just pushing world boss for brand new players to help them get through it. Now, they'll have to spend their zeals, and they'll, have, they'll get loot, and they'll get experience and all that. but. I want the end game guys to have the ability, and I'm and I'm in the round table. I'm pushing for this. I'm talking to development. I'm I'm constantly on top of it. I want a no loot button. That's what I'd love to see, so mm -hmm. that we can bring more people from tier three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten to tier eighteen, or even tier sixteen, or wherever they want to camp. That's what I want to see. Honestly, that sounds great because. The, in my opinion, the biggest problem in Bit Heroes, okay, there's a lot of big problems. Like gold is one, uh, but one of the biggest problems in Bit Heroes is the fact that you can't get any help on World Boss early on, except for people that are around your level and 
they're usually too weak to well, help yeah, you out. It's crazy. It's crazy. People are like, oh, it's Zilfer. Oh my God. Hey, man. They all know me. Like all the low level people know who I am because I come and help. Honestly, I wish I could help more. Um, like right now, I just use my region to help out whoever I just found right now. I, I try to help. Seventy out. runs live on stream tonight and did seventy world bosses uh, for random people. Nice. Honestly, yep. I wish there was more players like you, man. Like I really do. It's hard. It's hard because people just don't want to use that. But you know, when you're a pay to play player, um, I look at it like it's an investment in the community over the long run. Yes, because if this game dies, all your investment went to poopy. It's yeah, it's boring. Yeah, I mean, I'll be yeah, bored. I, I that mean, too. I'm not playing other than Bit Heroes. I love Bit Heroes, honestly. Bit Heroes is like, I think, a forever game for me. Until the servers die, I'm going to be here. Same. Same. Okay, so this is the final question, but um, I might have a question or two for you after this one, but this is the final written down question. Uh, it's a very small question. Uh, how long do you plan to keep playing? You pretty much just answered it. <laughs> You yeah, guys. I'm gonna play the go down. especially even even if even if I get to one thousand, uh, mm -hmm. I'll keep playing. I'll keep providing the community with content, and I'll keep doing what I'm doing on Twitch. So nice. no, I'm not going away anytime soon. That's good to know. Really good to know. Same here. Now, okay. So I had a question. I had two questions, and um, okay. it's just your opinion on something, or maybe your thought on how it could be better. Um, I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to give you an answer real quick and you can tell me if uh -huh. it's good or not and you can give me your response. But pretty much for gold, how do you think they could fix gold? Now, what I was thinking is for gold, they can just either trim down the price on some stuff or they could just make it to where you get gold from finishing just about everything. Like... Let's say you get a bonus gold, like, oh, you completed the dungeon. Here is a 500 gold bonus. Oh, your flag was complete. Here's like a thousand bonus. Oh, you did a PvP. Here's an extra 1500 gold. Like, maybe not that much, but like, I guess just for completing something, you don't just get the gold that's in there. You get a completionist amount of gold and experience too. Maybe not a crazy amount, but something that could be a minor thing. Or maybe um, they can make it to where when you scrap stuff that you're not using, like commons, rares, epics, especially. This is the one I really want to see. You get some gold out of it. I mean, come on. Like, you can sell your stuff at the... Let me actually show everyone who's actually watching this on YouTube. Let me show what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to the town. And you can even do this on your hotbar, on your hood. Pretty much, you can go to this little guy at the little, the little shop. And you can like sell your stuff for gold, which I wouldn't mind doing my commons and rares every now and then as an early game player. Like that'd be nice. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be converting to epics anytime soon because conversions cost gold. So what can I do with those commons and rares? Well, I could turn them in for gold, you know, to use. <laughs> so I think that's something that I thought would be nice. Maybe it's not the best option, but I was just curious on what you think could be a really nice fix for gold if you could implement it somehow. I don't think you have a bad idea there, but a couple of things I might recommend to them. Lower the cost overall of the cheap gold potions, the dirty, dirt cheap gold potions. Make them, mm -hmm. I don't know, make them like two gold, boom, gold potion, you can pop it. Number two, you know, I always tell people, put on your gold find runes. I destroyed mine. I don't necessarily need them. But something they could do, say, from tier one to tier 12, because I think those are the most important tiers. Yes. Okay. Every flag that we do, we get a, you know, every dungeon we clear, we get a milestone. You could add milestones and it would give you bolster gold, like 10,000 here, 10,000 there, 20,000 here for clear complete here, 50,000 even. Give the community an early bolster from tier one to tier 12 in milestones. And then. At that point, you need to be a big grown up. You know, get your tetanus shot, little camper. It's time for you to grind, <laughs> start grinding gold at maybe tier 12 or 13, milestones end. And then you've got enough gold to get you going. I mean, all the, I, I believe at tier 13 on, you just have to work and grind and get that gold. Mm -hmm. um, I think they could do milestones personally, additional milestones um, that are just nothing but gold related, flag related, dungeon related. That would be my thought. Besides super cheap gold potions in the shop 
on the other tab or the gear tab or wherever they're at, you know, the, and then, you know, I always tell people, if you need gold, put on some gold fine runes. I mean, even if they're greens, anything's better mm. than nothing. That's what I'd recommend. I really, another thing I really wish I could see is maybe it's probably not possible, but I would love to see the common rare and epic. I know the commons already are, but the rare and epic variants of the boosts, I would like to see them, you know, maybe cost gold or cut the price in half or something. Cause oh, they, they could are... do better than that. No, they could do better than that. Daily rewards. Yeah, honestly, stop yes. Us, stop giving us gold. I mean, that's where some of the gold's coming from. But mm -hmm. we don't need eight mount guts. Give oh, people yeah. a give people an epic item find scroll. Hundred percent. Give people uh, an experience if they want exp you know an experience boost. They could even put a little clicker where it mm -hmm. gives all three of them. Do you understand yes. what I'm saying? Or all four. Yes. So I run epic. I run an epic item find. I run an epic book for experience. I run a gold and I run a boot for speed. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's all I've been doing lately on regen. You know, give a little clicker where you click on it, all four of them come up, and you pick one. That's, you know, that's a good way to go about it. For sure. Now, I just have, I guess, one more question. Um, not really a question. I guess, yeah, I guess it is a question. Um, it's pretty much going to be finalizing everything. Um, unless you have something to say, I'm just going to be uh, ending it here. I was just going to ask if you have any plugs you want to plug in, like your Twitch, anything at all. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to say this, guys. Um, I was going to say this. Remember in life how you want to be treated. Treat others the same way. You know, when you're in world chat, you know, be kind. Answer the questions. Don't troll people. Um, if you come to a discord, hey. Once again, if you're on my Discord, we don't troll. We don't do any of that stuff. It's Zilfer Bit Heroes uh, on Discord, and then my uh, Twitch is Zilfer Bit Heroes on Twitch. So it's easy to remember. Um, I would say also, please, you know, World Eater works hard at his content. Word of mouth it. Tell other people um, about World Eater. Um, feel free to check out Hydraulics Haven on Twitch. Yes. Hello, my name is Jarvis on Twitch. Please check out Derek's Goat. Check out Protect, and it's the word Protect with I-X, Hayes, uh, Protectorate Hayes on Twitch. And then uh, Primal, I think his name is Prime Days, P-R-I-M-E-D-Y-Z-E -E on YouTube. Um, those would probably be my plugs. But ultimately, guys, don't get discouraged in the game. Try to find people, like he talks about the community is important. Try to find discords where you can talk to people. Hey, I'm having trouble. Um, is anybody kind of a higher level got a friend spot? You would be amazed how quickly you can go from having like no clover users to like, three or four or five. Because you're just going to find that the ultimate in game guys, we're a lot nicer, most of us, than people think. That's what I would say. Oh, Please yeah. know that we're not arrogant. We don't want the community to die. We want the community to grow because we all want to keep playing. That's all I would say. And, you know, I really also want to say thank you to World Eater for this opportunity to talk to you all. And I'm hoping you learned a little bit about me and maybe you'll check me out. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm no different off stream and in interviews than I am on. So honestly, Zilfer is amazing guys. All those people we said, I watch all of uh, most, if not all those people, those guys are all awesome. A lot of them are my friends personally in game and in discord. And like Zilfer said, if you need to reach out and you're just not a discord person, you can always ask in world chat or Hey, even your guild, ask your guild is, Hey, do you have any carries? It does not hurt to ask anything. Cause at the end of the day, the worst thing they can say is no. And you can move on. I mean, honestly, everyone wants the same thing, right? We all want right. to enjoy the game. And that's the other thing. You can and DM me in Discord as well. Any question, I answer Anything. them all. Please yeah. don't be intimidated. Same here. If you see me, um, trust me, I really don't mind it. I get like 100 questions a day, honestly. Maybe not 100, over-exaggerating, but I get a lot. Yeah. I get a lot. Yeah, a lot of and DMs I, here too. I don't mind it. Like right mm -hmm. now, I just got like maybe today, I got maybe like, I'd say like 12, 13 questions from different people today. Zilfer included. Oh, wow. <laughs> Silver included. Yep. He yep. messaged me today. And I don't mind it. I love talking to people. I love talking to people, especially about Bit Heroes. So if you guys have any questions, any concerns, anything at all, feel free to ask anyone and any one of us. I'm going to go ahead and plug um, most, if not all, of what Zilfer said in the description below. So please make sure you check that out. Uh, I don't really like asking, but like and share the video. If you guys could at least share it so other members could see this video, that'd be great. 
you don't like it, you can dislike it. That's fine with me. If you have any insight or any tips you want to leave in the comments, please feel free to do so. Or if you just want to say hi. And again, you can join Zilfer's Discord. I'm going to plug it. Or you can join mine. Whatever you want. And talk to us there. Again, this is World Eater. That was Zilfer. You want to say anything else? Maybe your goodbyes? No. Quick? Have a great night. And thanks for playing Bit Heroes, guys. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. Peace.